sports fans, and welcome to the Oklahoma Sports Report OU Football Edition. Ricky Al Eschbach from the legendary O'Connell's Irish Pub in Campus Corner in Norman. Al, you know, last week's show, we talked to what OU TCU would be a high scoring game. What we didn't talk about is the high scoring butt kicking that OU took. It was embarrassing. Uh, uh, one of the more embarrassing games I've seen OU play. Uh, Gave them nearly 500 yards in the first half. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, they, had, they had 27 points in the first quarter. Yeah. And, and, 235 and, yards. Yeah. It was alarming what it was. Uh, we wanted to know if the Kansas State game was an aberration. Now you kind of think this is what it is, and well, that's scary. That's the scary part, you know, because, like you said, Kansas State, yeah, that's a one-off. You know, that's a one-off. They didn't play very well. Kansas State's good. Okay, they'll get back on track was the hope at TCU. Well, TCU took it right down the boom. Whatever they want to do. I mean, they, they, oh, oh, you got the ball, went down, and... And and, and what said, kind of said, in past years, this OU defense has shut Max Dugan down. Yes. Dugan down. Yes. And so, you know, it's, it's one of those things you didn't see coming. Now, the question is going to be, is this the story of the season, or is there another chapter? And we'll talk about that because Texas is coming up, and Texas has got a really good team coming up in the Cotton Bowl this Saturday. Al Esbeck, Rick Heath here at the legendary O'Connell's Irish Pub on Campus Corner in Norman. We'll be back with more of the Oklahoma Sports Report after this. Oh man, dude, I really wish I could make that. Um, it's National No Pants Day, and that'd be kind of inappropriate. We actually just had gas station sushi, and you just don't want to chance that. We're going to be running tornado drills, like tornado drills all day. I have tickets to see Kenny Rogers. He's what? Tornado drill, tornado drill. Your friends are tired of coming up with excuses. Two Fellows Moving Company, saving friendships since 1996. Okay, sports fans. You know, we do the Thunder Weekly each week, but there's a lot of things I like to support that are Oklahoma products. I like to go around and do shows from Oklahoma businesses, but one of the businesses I want to talk about is Prairie Wolf Distillery, now Wander Folk Spirits. Wander Folk Spirits distilled out of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Great line of spirits. They have Wander Folk Gin, Wander Folk uh, Vodka, and Old Moses uh, Bourbon. All of these are quality products, uh, and they're distilled right here in Oklahoma. So if you come to like Cohiba Lounge, ask for a Wander Folk uh, Gin and Tonic or ask for a wonderful vodka and tonic or a club special. It's getting where you can get that now. It's getting warmer. Uh, a vodka club special made with wonderful vodka. Great selection. And you're supporting Oklahoma businesses. So support Oklahoma business. Ask your favorite restaurant or bar to carry wonderful spirit. The painting professionals at Ray the Painter are committed to providing all of our customers excellent service and attention to detail. Since we started in 1991, Ray the Painter serves the entire OKC metro area. We do interiors, exteriors, residential, and commercial work. The experts at Ray the Painter offer custom finishes and glazes for cabinetry and woodwork, as well as spray, brush, roller, and trowel techniques to get the perfect look for your project. For a free estimate, call 405 605 3563 or visit us at paintokc.com. EDS Paintless Dent Repair is your one-stop shop for auto body repair. Whether it be from hail damage, dents, scratches, or even glass replacement and repair, we can accommodate all your needs. Locally owned and operated since 2005, EDS Paintless Dent Repair is here for you. Give us a call at 405-476-1763 or go to edspaintlessdentrepair.com. At Laser Light Skin Clinic, our most popular treatment is now more affordable than ever. Right now, you can save up to 50% on Cool Sculpting, the number one choice for non invasive fat reduction. Our flexible treatment plans allow you to choose the option that is perfect for you. Focus on a single problem area or revive your life with a fresh new you. These are real results. For your personal Cool Sculpting consultation, call Laser Light Skin Clinic today. A new you awaits. And 
welcome back. Oklahoma Sports Report, OU Football Edition. Al Eshbeck, Rick Heath from O'Connell's in Norman. Uh, out the, uh, gosh, the OU-TCU game, it looked like, you know, OU was going to be in pretty good shape offensively. Now, they never were in the game defensively, and that's what's really scary. But, you know, and Dylan Gabriel, just even before he got hurt, just wasn't right. Overthrowing I, everybody. Yeah. Overthrowing not, wide I'm open receivers. I'm not sure what, what's up with that. That's pretty alarming because, uh, and the one thing, Kaminsky, what we heard, and look at him, accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. That well, his, that's, that was his calling card. Yeah. You know, him and Levy in the preseason, they had, I mean, the, the, in the previous year they had together, they set records for accuracy and yards and all that. Uh, but now, uh, now, of course, you know, the young man is hurt and don't know when he'll come back. Uh, took a vicious hit there. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't happen to agree with, the, you know, that it was the dirtiest hit ever. But, I mean, it was, he was certainly headhunting when he went after him. The, yeah, the player was. Yeah, but and, and, it was just a bad situation when 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 uh, and, got and, hurt. and without him offensively, there I don't know. Eric Gray is hurt. Uh, Billy Bowman is not going to play on defense, and we saw what happened when he went out. Wanya Morris, Wanya Morris may not uh, play. Yeah, we don't know about Marcus Major. We'll see Daniel about him. Has got hurt during the game. Yeah, it, it 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 was just a bad day. It was. It was a bad day, and you know, and again. Is that again? Is that just a uh, a bad situation, or what, is this what, what we I don't see? understand? I'll go back. Nebraska is still not a bad offensive team, yes. and they absolutely shut them down. I don't know why this three-man rush that they're going through on defense. They give them quarterbacks all day time to throw the ball, and that's what's killing them. They're not getting any pressure at all. Um, you know, let's go back to offense just a little bit. Even though Dylan, before he got hurt, overthrowing the ball. But again, the offensive line wasn't, you know, I mean, you would think that, okay, here we've got this very big, awesome offensive line. Well, and it gets a bad defensive team. Let's not let it cut the chase. TCU's a bad defensive and team. And why they just couldn't run the ball I, and they, over They came out throwing it. They just kept down come out you throwing know, it. And, and to me, the, the problem, you know, especially when Dylan Gabriel kept overthrowing, you know, and they opened up the game with two straight runs at 12 yards each. And then they started throwing four straight times. You know, and and um, so to me, it, it, you go back, when things start going and, wrong, you go back to basics. And, and let me tell you something. When you win the toss and you elect to take, take the ball, you better score points on yes. that first possession. Well, they were moving and had the turnover, you know, so that's going to You're right, yeah, me, the Mims fumble, yeah. You know, and the, you can't do it. No, you can't do it. Because that just, you know, and then T.C. goes down, boom, 7-0. Yeah. I mean. Then boom, 14-0. 14-0 I mean, after another stop, three and out. So, you know, but the offensive game plan and uh, – Okay, um, let me hang my coaching certificate up in the bedroom because I don't have one. But my thought as a fan um, is you find something that works and stick with it. Well, and, and, and uh, yeah, I agree. And, and if Gabriel can't play, Texas is going to have an eight-man front. They're going to say, okay, you're not going to run the ball on us. Let's see if you can throw it. Let's see if you can throw it. And, and so far, I am, I am shocked. And that's the only word I can use. Saturday, I became even more shocked at the lack of talent in that quarterback room for OU. Yeah, it. it you know, and it, I hate it, to disparage it, 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 these young men, but well, there's no talent there. What, what, what happened? Obviously, Caleb Williams. I watch him. He's the best player in the country, bar none. Caleb Williams is a superstar. It, they were undefeated if he's still here. Uh, but we don't have to go into that. Rattler leaves, and then okay, you get Gabriel. Then you try to bring Casey Thompson in and the Purdy kid that's at Nebraska. They couldn't get any of them, but by then, most of the, and they tried to get the dark kid that went to Mississippi. And, so and, you, know, and, and, and you know what? They made a decision of taking Gabriel before Dart. And once Gabriel got here, Dart went to Mississippi. So, See, and that, that to me, I mean, and I understand. I mean, Levy had a, had a relationship with Gabriel. They, were, they had a pretty good thing going. Everybody assumed that that would continue. It hasn't to this point. Will it? 
Perhaps. Bitch. And what's, that's the only hope OU has this year to salvage the season <laughs> is Dylan Gabriel gets better health-wise, and then they get on the same page. You're right, it, 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 but you just don't worry about the defense. I mean, uh, well, yeah, but right now they, they can't do anything about that. No, the only thing, the only thing right now that they got, yeah, they got to be able to score points. And it, yes. if Gabriel can't play, I, I mean, I, yeah. I don't yeah. think anybody thinks he's going to score a lot of points. Yeah, there's not going to be a whole lot of hope. Hey, we are at O'Connell's Irish Pub, and we'll be joined with Jeff Stewart here in just a moment, the owner of O'Connell's. Oh man, dude, I really wish I could make that. Um, it's National No Pants Day, and that'd be kind of inappropriate. We actually just had gas station sushi, and you just don't want to chance that. We're going to be running tornado drills, like tornado drills all day. I have tickets to see Kenny Rogers. He's what? Tornado drill, tornado drill. Your friends are tired of coming up with excuses. Two Fellows Moving Company, saving friendships since 1996. The painting professionals at Ray the Painter are committed to providing all of our customers excellent service and attention to detail. Since we started in 1991, Ray the Painter serves the entire OKC metro area. We do interiors, exteriors, residential, and commercial work. The experts at Ray the Painter offer custom finishes and glazes for cabinetry and woodwork, as well as spray, brush, roller, and trowel techniques to get the perfect look for your project. For a free estimate, call 405-605-3563 or visit us at paintokc.com. Okay, we have a special guest here today of the Oklahoma Sports Report. Mariah Calhor of Calhor Real Estate Group, correct? Cal Calhor Group Realty, but it Group works. Group Realty, one of those, one of those. <laughs> anyway, the Mariah, Mariah Calhor. Um, it is a, uh, right now is a great time to be in real estate because there's lots of things going on. There's a lot going on. I will tell you, the last few years has been very different, challenging, very unknown, but I think we're finally walking into the season where things are gonna kind of level out. Sellers are kind of losing a little bit of their leverage and buyers are having the opportunity again to actually negotiate. So buyers coming in have a little bit more leverage with yeah. price moving. Yes. And buyers, I mean, and sellers still have a good market. They do. They just may not have been the top side right now. Correct. And it may not be the feeding frenzy everybody was after. I mean, it was wild, but now we're kind of getting back to that normal flow, steady pace, and I can breathe. The realtors can breathe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the sellers are going, okay. Okay, we can still do this. Um, the, uh, you know, all of the interest rate moves, how, yes. are, how is that working? I will tell you, interest rates are going up. I think they're kind of getting up into that six and seven range. I don't see a problem with that. I know most people who are used to that two and three, they're kind of like, oh my gosh. But I will tell you, and maybe you know this, interest rates once upon a time were up in like 18 and 19. So when we hear six and seven, I'm not worried. I, I'm comfortable with it. Well, you know, and, it's, and if you really look at it over a 30 year fixed, we're talking, you know, a, a few hundred dollars over Correct. a year's period of time. Right. When you break right. it down on a daily basis, it may be only a dollar or two a day. And you can always refinance. Yes, and, and then you can always bring it back down when yep. interest rates are more favorable. Right. And if you need any more information in the expert opinion of the expert, Mariah Calhor of Calhor Group Realty. Group yep. Realty. <laughs> Give them a call and they will find out. Or your Facebook page. Yes, anywhere. You can Google me and you'll find me and I'll help you out. There you go. Yeah. Mar Mariah Calhor of Calhor Realty Group. At Laser Light Skin Clinic, our most popular treatment is now more affordable than ever. Right now, you can save up to 50% on Cool Sculpting, the number one choice for non invasive fat reduction. Our flexible treatment plans allow you to choose the option that is perfect for you. Focus on a single problem area or revive your life with a fresh new you. These are real results. For your personal Cool Sculpting consultation, call Laser Light Skin Clinic today. A new you awaits. And welcome back, Oklahoma Sports Report, OU Football Edition from O'Connell's on Campus Corner. And joining Al and I now, Jeff Stewart, owner of O'Connell's. Jeff, thank you so much for letting us come down and be a part of this wonderful atmosphere. Oh, it's, it's, I love it. It's wonderful all hey, the time. Bet one memory that I have about OU football, and Jeff, when Howard Schnellenberger, we did the first show at his place over on Lindsay Street when it was at Lindsay. You know. Oh, the mat, the optimism. I mean, people, national chips. He's saying, they're going to write books about us. They're going to do movies about us. And uh, 
Yeah, they wrote books all right. It was, like, it, 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 it was a scary book. <laughs> it was a scary book. And then, remember, the assistants used to hang out there all the time? Yes, they did. Gary <laughs> Lord? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those guys were, uh, those, you know, when you're having a three martini lunch before you go to practice, it's kind of a, a tough way to coach. It, it but, really uh, is. Uh, um, speaking of a tough way to coach, guys, uh, you both saw what happened Saturday at TCU. Gosh, OU's defense just looked horrible. It really did. Uh, it's, it, like we talked earlier, it's a work in progress, I think. Uh, I think they've got some loose ends that they need to tie together. Yeah, really loose ends, really, like defensive really, ends. Really <laughs> wide ends uh, that they need to kind of pull together and, and get their eyes open, and, and what are they supposed to do? I mean, you see somebody in the backfield, and the, and the receiver would run right by him, and they just, well, what do I do? Uh, maybe they're not sure exactly what they're supposed to be doing, uh, or they're afraid to implement it. I'm not really sure. Al, but... what, what's, your, what's your thought? Well, I think what the sad thing is, most teams get better as the season goes along. Now, I know they didn't play anybody, but still, Nebraska was a decent offensive yeah, team. They, they scored 35 this past week against Purdue. Uh, that, that's what I, that I think people are losing confidence. Well, in. okay, so, so when we first started talking about this team, one of the things that I held on to is that being a different coaching staff under Brent Venables, the defense would be more solid. Right. Not missing tackles. There missing might have been more missed tackles in that game than I've ever seen. Yeah, and, 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 you know, and make all the tackles, you know, and, and have. Not you know, have a, a, a receiver run wide open. Right, wide open. And all of a sudden, those glaring mistakes that we've seen in the past reappeared in all their scary, you know, uh, oneness there at, at TCU and so the question is can you get it back to me that's the biggest question can they over the short course of a week which against Texas coming up can they regroup uh, enough to make it a good game in Texas people betting on the game say no <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'm hoping they can improve they may not make it the best game ever but I'd love to don't see get a lot embarrassed. Of improvement. Don't yeah. get embarrassed. Yeah, let's uh, don't pull let's a play him tough. Don't pull a Texas and get beat 63 no, 15. No. Definitely oh, not. That. <laughs> and if you're going to grab a guy, grab him and pull him down. Well, don't they, just slide off of him. Well, they did that a couple of times in the defensive backfield. Every, but instead of turning around and playing the ball, the defensive backs for OU are just grabbing the guy, uh -huh. you know? and, and and holding on to him, and, you know, and it's better to get 15 yards and give up a touchdown. But gosh, that looks yeah. that's a bad look. That's you know, and and you know, and and uh, defensive line, you know, the three man. No rush, pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. I mean, they're just three man rush. And if Ewers plays, he will pick them apart. Yeah. You know, that's the thing about it. I mean, Card's not bad. Card's not a bad. No, player. he's not. He he would be a he's a good serviceable Big 12 quarterback. Uh -huh. But yours may be a really, really good quarterback. Number one player, the one, number one quarterback in the country when he's seen in high school. And, and he Junior. may be the one quarterback that Texas has been missing hey. for years. Yeah, uh, they're going to beat Alabama if he plays the whole game. He doesn't hurt. They're going to beat Alabama. Well, you know, and, and it's kind of like Colt McCoy when they were playing Ooh. Alabama. Same you know, thing. He and, got and, hurt, and they had a chance to win the national. Two thousand nine season. So, um, you know, but yours is a is a better quarterback. Um, and I think, I think you know, yeah. given a chance talking to Kirk Bowles down at the Austin American Statesman, he thinks he's starting. Um, that, he said they have every intention uh, of starting. You know, start. I, I will say, though, he has the same injury that Sam Bradford had. Bradford got hurt the first game of the season, tried to come back against Texas. Boom, he's gone for the season. Well, see, I think that's the only thing about it. If, if OU had shown better defensively, you know, th they um, – they may have thought about that, but now that they're not looking very good defensively, no. maybe they think they can win with Card and hold him out a couple more yeah. weeks to make sure he heals. Yeah, viewers. It, but 
I mean, yours wants to play. Sark wants him to play. The whole fan base wants him to play. Well, they need to get him. He needs to get more snaps. He's only put, you know. Well, hey, no more pressure. No, he's been getting on the quarterback. You're, you're he's right. Not get hit you're, anyway. you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but golly, well, that Texas could be is true. Out for a little revenge. After last if, year. If they get a chance. Yeah. They'll kick they OU. Chance, they'll kick OU. They'll kick they'll, OU. They'll, they'll and try. They'll kick them when they're down and kick them again on the way right. out. I, I think OU can come back. I think Venables can get them fired up and get them going in the right direction. They, uh, they it may not be a victory for OU, but I think we can get going. Early in the game back. is really important. Yeah. They yeah. better not get behind like they've been getting Dude. behind. Especially with, if, Dil, if Dylan Gabriel's out, it's going to be tough just to keep it close. They've got to be in the game the whole a- time. Absolutely. Hey, we are at O'Connell's Irish Pub here. Al Eshbeck, Jeff Stewart, and myself. And we'll be back with the final segment after this. And welcome back, Oklahoma Sports Report. Al Eshbeck, Rick Heath from the legendary O'Connell's Irish Pub on Campus Corner in Norman. Oh, gosh, Al, if these walls could talk, you know, I mean, especially all the games. You know, one of the craziest things I ever saw at O'Connell's here was when Ohio State came. And, oh, and the fans. The, the fans here were, there was, there were, this place was packed wall to wall with Ohio State fans. It's going to be like that when OU gets in the SEC. Yeah, it's going to be like that when people come up. You know, it's going to be interesting. Um, let's just say that OU's not ready to be in the SEC quite yet. So let's talk about OU Texas this Saturday. Um, obviously, everything depends on offensively for OU and Dylan Gabriel. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd i be shocked if they could beat him if Gabriel wasn't play. I mean, absolutely shocked. I mean, it... Now, I remember... Um, uh, John Blake taking an OU team down to Texas that was highly... Um, well, they hadn't won a game that year. Yeah, they were highly... They were 0-4. And yeah, and, and coming around and, and, and playing a, a, a game of their life. Oh, you have a chance to do something like that this, this If Saturday? Gabriel doesn't play, I don't think so. That's what I mean. If Gabriel plays and... and, and uh, again, this Texas team had a chance to beat Alabama this year. That's right, and played them very hard, defensively and offensively. Yeah. And uh, defensively, they're pretty good. They got great athletes. Now, are, are they are they the defense of, of say uh, an OSU or Baylor? No, but they're still a good defensive team. The hell, what Alabama? What twenty points? Yes, that's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Now the, the quarterback got no. He didn't get hurt. He no, he played the whole game. The whole game. He got Bryce right Young. They, yeah. They, yeah. They, yeah. They. So you know, I mean, that that shows well for OU uh, for Texas defense. But the Texas offense is what I'm impressed with. Uh, as you said, you were the number one quarterback in the nation when he came out of high school. Worthy is a great receiver. B. John Robinson is one of the best backs in the country. He'll be in the NFL. Oh, without it. He'll be in the NFL. Yeah, the yeah. tight end will be in the NFL. Uh, uh, maybe one of the and They started two true freshmen against Alabama, and you're, they're going to kill Al, they, 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 Alabama. will kill. Well, well you know what? They didn't. Line. On the yeah, offensive line. On the line. offensive and those line. those guys held, their, held themselves. Okay, i, I got to bring something up on the offensive line for OU. Gosh, they've been a disappointment the last two years. Maybe even three. I thought against Kansas State they played really well. Eric Grace had a great year. Well, okay, he got 100 and something yards. But, I mean, they, they, they haven't been able. Maybe it's, maybe it's my vision of not. And not Creed Humphrey, right. I mean. Yeah, it, Creed Humphrey's three years ago. Okay. Yeah. So that was good. But, I mean, my vision of, of a really good offensive line is when you need two yards you go get well, against yards. Kansas State, they were really good. Against Nebraska, I know Nebraska defense is terrible, but I mean, they yeah, were really maybe, good. Maybe I, I, but I just think they're going away from the run, is what that's, they're doing. That's what I'm wondering about. I mean, maybe it's just Levy not calling the Once play. they got Wanya yeah, Morrison in there, I think they've been a pretty good offensive line. Yeah, well, and, Wanya and Morrison is a good player. He's a good player, and hopefully he'll be back soon, too. He was hurt, too. Um, you know, the, uh, uh, the Texas offense is. is Good under card, okay, but they can be really, really good. Oh, they can be. I mean, they had a hundred and you would threw for like hundred and forty yards in one quarter against Alabama. Yeah, and that's that's against Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, you know, which is a far cry from what OU's defense is showing. Right so now. yeah, uh, it just it, it's worrisome. I mean, well, you know, and, and we were talking about well, you were playing now. Kirk Bowl says that they're planning on starting him, and and I believe that. Um, you know, and, and no more pressure that OU's offense, I mean, defense is getting on the offense. 
I mean, well, and maybe then, they can take that and, chance of him not getting hurt. And then again. earlier, yeah. early in the week when we taped this show, uh, uh, Bevel took every snap of the first team in, in practice. Well, I, and I think, I mean, I don't think Dylan Gabriel can 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 go. I think they can't clear him. With but the, if the they, doctors say he's cleared, I mean, this, this happens all the time. We don't know, right? I know, I know. There are I mean, some concussions worse than others. I know, and, and I hope that for his sake that he, he's not, it's not injured bad. I just oh, you know, no one doubt. Of those things right now with the the atmosphere of what's happening. Well, with, with Tua, Tua, with the Tua yeah. thing, no doubt about so, it. So, I mean, I think they're going to be extra cautious. No doubt. I hope he gets to play. Hey, we will find out next Saturday. Here, my hey, my uh, prediction: Texas 38-17. 45. 16. Oh, you wins 45 16. You heard it here, folks. Texas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Oh, you 45 16. No, we both agree Texas should win this one and win it handily. I uh, hope that's not the situation, and I hope OU regains some composure on defense and Dylan Gabriel and all the rest of the guys get back at some point. Hey, for Al Espec, I'm Ricky. We'll see you next time on the Oklahoma Sports Report.